And that's what you got to wrestle with. How do I drive out what I want out so that I can hold on to what I need to hold on to so I can maximize my potential? And that means that you're going to be in a war zone all the time. Not just externally. When I start talking about getting the victory, you think it's getting the victory on the job and getting the victory from the enemy, your neighbor next door whose dog keeps coming over on your yard and doing foul things. You think the victory is fighting over that promotion you're trying to get. All of those are really immaterial compared to the fight you have on the inside to be the highest and best version of yourself. Can I get a real witness to say amen? And so when we read in the book of Joshua, well, we see an external conflict, but we're seeing an external conflict that is often in, worked out in our generation in internal warfare, okay? Joshua's outside by, battle might be a picture of your inside circumstances. Just because you're sitting calm and nobody's bombing your house doesn't mean you're not up under siege. Doesn't mean you're not up under attack. Doesn't mean that you don't have mental, emotional, physical, financial, economic. Somewhere in your life, you have warfare all the time. It's an amazing thing. I've lived life a lot of ways. I've lived life. I've lived a good life. I've lived a blessed life. I know what it is to be able to go in a restaurant and order a steak and not have to look at how much it costs to buy one. And I also know what it is to clean up behind the person who ordered the steak because I worked in the kitchen. I've looked at life from both sides down. I've been the, I've been the customer. I've been the cleanup boy. I was literally, literally a fast order, short order cook. I was a second level uh, chef in a restaurant. I've done a whole lot of different things in my life. I've done some bus boy in my life. I've done some janitorial service in my life. I've done a whole lot of things in my life, up and down, back and forth, in and out, own the company, work for the company, then own the company, done all sorts of things in my life. And the one thing that's always been consistent, every stage of life has its own hell. Trust me on that. Trust me. You can't go so high you escape it and you can't go so low that you're not victimized by it. Every stage of life has its own contaminants, its own storms, its own tests, its own conflict. I know you're sitting beside the cutest person you ever saw in your life, but they got some trouble going on too. That, that brother, that sister sitting next to you is so sharp and clean and they smell like something they sprayed on themselves before they left the house. Oh, and your whole row is smelling good just like daisies in the valley. But glory to God, don't let the smell fool you. Beneath that makeup and all that paint and that eyebrow stuff, there is some struggles going on in that life and you are sitting beside some kind of crazy. You just don't know what kind it is because you don't go home with them, but you are sitting by some brand 